Hello there. Hello, 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 hello. Second. Let me do my tags. What is this? What the fuck is this? Hello there, hello, hello. One second, just adding some stuff here. This is fucking bot. One second. Can I even tag people to my post? Copy. One second, y'all. I'm going to be right with y'all. Okay, one second. Just getting everything together. Okay, hit the camera. Let's go live on Facebook. Okay, what do we have here? Uh-uh. None of the above. None of the above. Let me put my Cash App tags up in here. Put my Cash App tags up in here. I already got the what's the name over here. Okay. They say Leona Elmira needs to write a book. That shall soon come. That shall soon come. But I'm busy over here, you know, doing a lot of work out here. Um, mm. Yeah, here we go. We, we, we live in effect, fool. You know, hit that like button. I mean, yeah, why not, man? Hit the like button, man. You know, we monetize right now. We collecting dividends, man. You know what I'm saying? Hypocrites and dead presidents. Mm, that's pretty good, man. I mean, that nice and creamy. So what, what we got lined up today? Okay, let's move this back a little bit. You know what I'm saying? What we got lined up for today? What are we talking about today? Because I'm, I'm here to answer y'all questions. That's what I'm here to do. Bo, bust a backflip. <laughs> Get your gat and do a backflip. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Yo, we need some more lighting up in here, man. It's, this is like more lighting. We need more lighting up in here. Huh. We need some more lighting, man. Um, mm. Can you talk about psychokinesis on a real spiritual perspective? In your perspective, psychokinesis. If I'm correct, psychokinesis is the ability to influence objects outside of yourself, right? If I'm correct, that's what psychokinesis is, right? That's the that's allegedly your your uh, you have the ability to influence things outside of yourself, right? Mm, pretty good, man. Mm, I made sure I put enough. Mm. Elias Elias Heron, isn't that what psychokinesis is? It's the ability to influence individual humans inanimate objects being able to influence them 
I don't have any random advice for you. To lick, to lick, to leak, to leak. You know, you got to have a question. That's why it's an open forum for conversation. Blossom Bear. Is it just hallucinations? Well, there's a thin line between hallucinations and spiritual, uh, uh, you know, observation. You know, so that's what I say. There's a thin line between the two. Important things. Hello, 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 hello. Important things. Important things for clients not to do. Um, I mean, it's 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 things that I've you know rehearsed uh, or said thousands of times. You can't be out there doing stupid shit like you know if your if your target doesn't want to talk to you, why are you constantly calling them? I mean, that's that's a no brainer. There's a whole bunch of things I could tell you, but it'll just be me re be repeating a thousand shit that I've said thousands of times in my videos. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What we have here. Man, I gotta put the camera, I gotta put some lighting on this. This is not cool, man. Uh okay, we got the camera set. Nice angle, straight angle. I think I gotta move my desk this way. Cause that way it will capture everything in the balance. Let's see if I move my desk. No, hell no. I'm not doing that. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm -mm, I'm not going to do that. Let me just adjust my camera so we have this thing level. I like my stuff is sitting straight, man. In the office right now. Let me see if I can get a lighting on myself. One second. Got to get some light on myself because it's really dark in here. Get some light on me. Shine your light on me. All right, let's see what we got here. Well, this sure helps getting a little light on myself. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, a little light on me. Uh huh. It's much better. Could be better, but we're going to work with this. I had a very weird question I never had the person to ask about. Well, you ha here's a place to ask the question. So ask your question, sir. No, it's not about that. Actually, I'm using a laptop right now. I'm actually I'm using a laptop here, um, so it's it's just the lighting. I just have to add more lighting to the room. So even if I would try to adjust the camera, it's not even going to be the camera. It's just going to be the lighting because it's a little. Ah, uh, this is ah uh, a nuisance. One second. Next thing you know, there's going to be spirituals that say, "Oh, his his." His live was being messed up because he didn't have the proper lighting. We did good work on him. <laughs> Man. Didn't you see? His live wasn't going straight. We did a lot of magic on him. That's why his live wasn't going straight. <laughs> but anyway, let's go. Let's get to it. Man, I, I probably got so much lights on right now. It looks like it's dark to me. Do you believe in the Haitian lottery dream interpretation? Of course. I used to watch my uncle do that. My uncle used to play the lottery numbers based off of, you know, dreams. He'd get dreams and he would put the numbers together that he would see in his dreams and boom, he would win the lottery like that, you know, Haitian lottery. Come on, all Haitian all Haitians do that shit. Mhm. Mm Can you use Maribus for beauty spells? Your ring works good. Good product. Okay. Ugh. Let me, hold on. Let me just, for my YouTube, not my YouTube, my Facebook audience. Hold on. Size eight. Where's, where's my man? Size eight. Anthony, size eight. Here we go. See, even though I'm, see, even though I'm not in the shop, I got things going on. I'm over here doing a live. I'm over here doing a live, taking care of clients' rings and stuff like that, sending out the proper orders. Mm-hmm. Let me see if I turn this out. Will that do any justice? 
Uh, that's cool. That's only cool for that light. Mm-hmm. Man, it's a little chilly up in here. Hot. Open up the window. I'm drinking this goddamn hot tea. Okay. Okay. Do you believe in Haitian? I read that. What advice do you give newbies about their own spells? Practice makes perfect. Drea. Drea, Drea, Drea. You know what I'm saying? English is just so confusing because English doesn't have any accent points on the light on the writing. So you can have an E could be pronounced as A, but you you know it's it's crazy, man. I guess you got to know the science of reading. But Drea, hello. Man, I haven't seen you in a long time. <laughs> How are you? Drea, I know you've been doing your thing, your fine ass. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. I'd say more about building protective spirits from different energies. Let me say, what does this brother say? Do you know about... Hold on. I don't know how to put what my mind formulates. I don't know. Likewise, likewise. It's well seeing you too, man. It's been years and he's still around. <laughs> I'm glad that you're still around, man. Okay. What do we have here? Do you experience with Ezley Fuid? This guy said, I'd say more so building a protective protective spirit from different energies. Ah, all right. Well, you're not saying anything. I'm not trying to, I'm not understanding what you're trying to say. If you have a question to ask, would you say a parallel like a ball call? Yes, it can be. I would say a parallel can be on a line of a ball call. I can say. The question is further up. So is there a science to being able to create a spirit or guardian of different, okay, different energy sigils? I think you already know the answer to that. I think you just asked me that question because you just want me to confirm what you already know. I think you already have the answer to that. You know, I think you already have the answer to it. Don't you think I've said this in, in the past? Well, maybe you're new to my channels and stuff like that. Maybe you're new to my YouTube or Facebook whatsoever. I've always said that, you know, the spirits are found all the time in Haiti. Spirits that can be even created. Man, listen. All Boko just means, let me let me explain to Andrea. There is no title. You know saying? There is no working up to a title like that. You know what I'm saying? In Haitian culture. Basically, in Haitian culture, you're considered a vagabond. You're considered a thug. You're just considered an outlaw, an outcast. You know what I'm saying? If you're with the shits and people know about you, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you come from a family, but you can be a renegade. You know what I'm saying? You know, to be a ball car is like, yo, it's, there's no initiation for it. There is no, okay, you did this. No, people just know that you really about to fuck shit. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? And that motherfucker doesn't follow religion. That's it. He's not with the religion. And is he's he's part of it, but he's not of it. You know what I'm saying? He knows the rules and regulations, but that motherfucker just chooses to be on a fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's and that's and that's what it is. It, you know, some people would say that a ball call in, in some some people that are in the religion would say that a ball call is he's he's filthy, he's he's a bad person. And stuff like that, but for me, it's just hey, man, you know, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying it's it's, it's 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 more like how can I say this? It's more like being a root worker, you know what I'm saying? It's more like being a root worker. Cause listen, there's a lot of uh, religious voodoo that don't like me. You know what I'm saying? They don't understand how is it that this man he stands on fuck shit in Haiti. You can't even say the word boko. You can't even say that word. You say it's got to be some low key, quiet. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's like, yo, let me tell you something, Andrea. The, the, the mumbo, a mumbo is, that shit is universal. It's, the, the word mumbo doesn't even really have a bad connotation to it. It's, 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 but you find a lot of people that are mumbos, they do it, they work with both hands. So it's like, there really hasn't been a title to really, like, it's kind of because in Haitian culture, a lot of the women, 
are not really into that destructive stuff. So you really don't find women really being associated with that type of carnage. But of course, there's a lot that are. But because the men are so used to basically doing that type of madness, it's like it falls on men harder than women. Like the word wugun or gun gun. It's like the person that's doing the nonsense, they're automatically going to be considered a bokor. Bokor is synonymous with being a witch. But for the women, it's still a mombo. I have yet to hear any other word that they use or mystic. You know, those are the closest words I can, I would say, a mystic, a mystic. So it's like the female thing is like, they can go under the word mambo, but they still can be working left and they can still be working the left hand. They still can be doing destructive shit. And I even heard one individual, but I'm going to move off of that. I heard one individual talk about it's confusing to hear a vaudouisant say left-hand path. There's this Uncle Tom bootlicking Haitian I heard say something about that, right? But let me explain that. What this Uncle Tom, this bootlicking Schneider, doesn't understand. He says, um, how can a vaudouisant practice left hand? See, to me, what the left hand means is that you're about the nonsense. When I say nonsense, you can read between the lines of what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? If, if you're about the nonsense, see, what I think people, this is what I always say about people that talk all this, okay, be about what you're saying, 100%. Don't play the side the sideline or, you know, picket fence this thing here. Like, if you're going to say that you are practicing the left-hand path, what the hell do you have to do with Martin Luther King? Hold on. Hassan, Hassan, thank you for that super chat. Thank you for the super chat over there. You know, um, when you find certain people saying left-hand path, but yet you find these left-hand, these so-called left-hand path people talking about saving the world, talking about... You know, talk about saving the world. You know, talk about world poverty, world poverty, you know, hunger. Talk about Illuminati. See, when you're really with the left-hand path, last, when was the last time I ever heard a street nigga that's really out there doing, that's really doing the most? Let me just play that. A street nigga doing the most, right? When was the last time you ever heard a street nigga talk about that, that's doing the most? When I say doing the most, I'm saying you can read between the lines of what I'm saying. When this mother, that, that, I'm going to keep it as that because, you know, we are YouTube monitoring me. The thing is, when have you ever heard of these people complaining about the world around them? The people that's on the left-hand path, where that people that's, let's just say a person that's walking down that path of destruction. This person, their life, it has been nothing but ill. It's been nothing but woe. This person doesn't care about the next individual because they've had the short end of the stick their entire life. So how can you be left-hand path and yet you're worried about all this other, other stuff that doesn't have nothing to concern you? A, a left-hand practitioner has the spirit of a nihilist. When you get into nihilism, your view of the world is, I don't care. Kirk, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, Kirk. Thank you, Kirk, for the super chat. So when I would hear certain these, 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 um, so-called left-hand path people talking is madness. I have to be like, yo, left-hand path means to me is that you're about the nonsense. It means you are 100% about the nonsense. And when your opposition violates, you demonstrate. That's what that means to me. It doesn't mean left-hand path does not mean Illuminati and 
uh, you know, wonder what the Illuminati is doing, what the Masons are doing. It means you're on that path. You're going to handle your business whenever people bring the problems. So for me, I can even expound more on the left-hand path and just say it's a lifestyle. If you're if you're in a lifestyle, let's just say you can even apply it to urban life, urban life. If you're in the streets, you're on the left-hand path. If you're getting it how you live, you're on the left-hand path. Thank you again, Kirk, for the super chat. Thanks again for the super chat. If you're on the left-hand path, it means that I'm getting it. I'm taking it, rather I say. I'm not waiting for nobody to give me nothing. I'm taking it. And what the fuck? And what are you going to do about it? Yeah, of course, you know, the extracurricular activities. You know what I'm saying? You got to really be with the extracurricular activities. If you say you were the left-hand path, why are you talking to me about world star, world hunger and all this other type of stuff? I don't care about that. Because a left-hand practitioner is about preservation itself. I don't give a fuck what you're doing over there. I may feel some type of way. It's my choice if I want to help you or not. But at the end of the day, the left-hand path is about self-preservation. I'm a Z. Thanks for the $5 super chat. Thanks for the super chat, man. What's good? Thanks for the wisdom. Do you do silver rings for wealth, business protection, just gold, silver street sweeper? The silver street sweeper, this is mainly for like love and this is mainly for like spiritual protection, not like physical protection against enemies. This is more like spiritual protection against spiritual forces. Yeah. Yeah, let me look at these comments here. Let me. I'm moving soon. Have to leave my leg by tree behind in my yard. Any suggestions? I mean, you're moving. You know what I'm saying? You got to do what you got to do. That's my suggestion. You got to do what you got to do, hon. I need to get with you and get a starter kit. Hey, man. <laughs> okay. There's so many comments. Hold on. Okay. Left-hand path from Tantra, also in voodoo, is not, left-hand is not that either. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The left hand path. What? I'm trying to read this. Kirk, I do demonology, Babylonian, Sumerian, and now studying voodoo. Again, left hand path is when you're dealing with the left hand path, you're dealing with, if you're talking about the forces that govern that aspect of life, we call it me gosh. We mean left, well, same shit. Uh, what was I going to say? It means same shit. But we say me gosh in Haitian Creole. Men gosh, left hand. It means, and when Haitians say men gosh, it means you are with the extracurricular activities. That's what it means. Men gosh means, Moshe, you got a you got a problem with me? We're gonna take care of that. I'm not I'm not gonna be the one that I'm not gonna be the one that's gonna be there to do that. But we're gonna see what's gonna happen. See, you could take the left-hand path on a spiritual level, and you can take it carnal. Boosie, he was on a left-hand path. King Vaughn, he was on a left-hand path. See, a lot of you people try to make this thing into some, 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 uh, some imaginary stuff. See, the ball car is here to give you reality. We're not here to give you fake stuff and imagine that we bring, we bring reality. When you live it, when you when you when you out there doing all that all that street stuff, man, that is left hand path work. That is destructive stuff. You're getting out the mud. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Tina Chin, hello, Tina, 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 talking Tina, hello. I know who you are. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, you know, but I, I sometimes I don't want to be too real because I don't want to uh I don't want to motivate people too much to go do certain things. I'm just saying for me, listen, I know influence, I got to be very I got to be very respectful and very how can I say this? responsible with things that I say. 
I just manifest money like eighteen hundred dollars. All right, cool, baby. That's what you got to do. Congratulations, congratulations, eighteen hundred. Okay, cool, baby. You making it? You getting it? Oh man. Oh my god. Oh. Eighteen hundred was that? Oh, eighteen thousand. Oh, oh, you're talking. That's man. That's that's even better. Mm hmm. That's even better, hun. Eighteen thousand. Woo! That shit's sweet. That's sweet. I know. I saw the correction, hun. I saw the correction, Hina. You manifested eighteen thousand. Woo! That's sweet. I would never ever, I would never ever believe that I can I, I would be touching those numbers today. I went from thinking that a thousand dollars is something to now thinking that a thousand dollars is nothing. But that's a whole nother story. Mm -hmm. Do you know anything about Ezeli Daila? Nah, I don't know about that law. I don't know about that law. There's so many law, you're not going to know all of them. I don't know about that law. I never sent that law out for a mission. Mm. Mm -hmm. Have I ever made a ring for specific, specifically for psychic gifts? Of course I have. But that's not the seller. That doesn't make any money. You know what I'm saying? Those rings don't make any money. You know what I'm saying? My clients... What things that they can utilize for their own physical benefit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, let me see what he has. DeAndre Whitney, thank you. Have you found a goetic spirit that corresponds with a law? I never really ever sat down to basically do all of that. I never really sat down to find the correspondence and stuff like that. I never really sat down to do that. It's not difficult. You know, it's not difficult to do. You know, um, I've never really sat down to really, I mean, if you want to say anything, the close, I can say off the top of the head, well, this is not considered a Goetian, it's Azazel, right? They say Azazel taught men to make weapons of war. Who's that, who does that remind you of in Vodou? That reminds you of Ogu Ferai. Yeah, so you can even do it like that, spin it like that, man. You know what I'm saying? If you can't, connect with that spirit then you know we can have an alternative hold on we gotta we gotta fix my timing man i know i know basically i'm on camera right now you know what i'm saying and you know uh i know um people ain't gonna see the time but i'm gonna see the time so i want to make sure I, i'm on time when i'm doing my live man what we have here yeah you know people out here saying oh this guy got a fake rolex you know what i'm saying but yo th th this is this is what you got to do when you have a when you have an automatic watch you have to basically you know what I'm saying? You have to wind it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this shit don't TikTok and glides. Okay, what we have here, we have five, 535. Hold on. 535. Today's date is the 27th. Woo! Rent coming up. Okay. I work with Loa, Leg Barada, so I guess you could say both sides. Thank you, Tina Chen. Who's this? Ibn Jean Chen, you're checking back in. Oh, hold on. Would you ever set a price for custom rings? I don't do custom rings, man. Like it's just I sell what you what you see. Mm -hmm. I sell what you see, and if you want a spirit attached to it, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't just sell my ring to anyone like that. I gotta know what type of person you are, who you are. Talk to you for a bit, you know. What I'm saying, you know, talk to you for a bit, have a feeling of who you are, and then once I get a feeling of who you are, then I basically open up the door. To basically do some stuff like that, but as far as that's concerned, mm -mm. Mm -mm. it's not for everybody. 
You got to show me that you're spiritual in order to be able to, spiritually responsible in order to be able to handle something like that. Because if you're not spiritually responsible, why would, why would I put something like that in the hands of someone that's ignorant? Mm hmm. Okay, let me go back. Mm -hmm. Is there any work that can be done to bring out clairvoyance, clairaudience? Of course. Mm -hmm. We're going to tell you something about that type of shit. Mm. The spiritual people, let me tell you something. Spiritual people, i seen about the question about Kirk, Kirk asks, is there Wilder Judy? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the, thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Listen, Kirk asks a very beautiful question. And, and, you know, is there any, is there any work that can be done to bring out clairvoyance and, or, or clairaudience? Yes, there is. Mm hmm What? Mm. The thing about that is that a person has to be mentally strong because you can open up your clairaudience. You can open up your clairvoyance. But is your mind strong enough to handle the things you're going to see? Is your mind strong enough to handle the warped view of the world or the world turned inside out. Mm -hmm. Is your is your mind able to handle that? Because you're going to see the world different. And when the world when the world starts becoming different, some people freak out. Mm -hmm. So that's my only thing about when it comes to tools and stuff like that. I'm chilling, Tata Vince. I'm chilling. But yeah, that's the thing about you know opening up the, the, the spiritual realm, the spiritual, your spiritual gifts and stuff like that, is that when opening it, are you ready for what comes with it? You know, like are, are you ready for that? Mm-hmm. Well, yes, there are. But the only thing is, I try well, I try not to advertise that. Because usually the people that really want, listen, let me tell you something. There's two types of people that need spiritual help, right? The monetary, the people that want a monetary, they want spiritual help on a monetary level. Those are the ones that spend the most bread. The ones that want things for spiritual development and spiritual elevation, they usually don't have enough bread. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So because the business, I have to cater to those that are spending. <laughs> What's to be in the live video? Approve. Okay. Somebody wants to be in my live video. Okay, I'm approving that. Or maybe that was a mistake. Somebody wanted to be in my live video. That's maybe that was a mistake. Tina Chen, was that an accident? Because it said I seen that somebody wanted to be in my live video. I didn't know. I, I just accepted it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Of course, not every child is ready to hold a gun. Is there a specific law for such work, Claire Senses? Who's my favorite reader? I never really sat down to think about who's my favorite reader. I never sat down. Hey Tina, was that a mistake on your end? Because I saw I received a request to be in a live video with Swever, so that's why I sent it with Swever. Um, 
Favorite reader again. I don't. I really don't have a favorite reader and stuff, man. I really, you know, <laughs> I, I, you know, I really don't even have a favorite reader. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Readings. See the thing about. Let me tell you something about readings, man. Readings. I'm gonna, man, they got a lot of questions on YouTube whatsoever. But I'm gonna answer. I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk about readings and stuff like that. Since since we have Meg Meg that actually brought the reading thing up, is this? Readings are very good. Readings, if you take a reading as it is, and you leave it as something that okay, this is a heads up. Be aware of it. Instead of acting on it as though it is the Bible, this is infallible you know what i'm saying nothing's not going to change from this if you have a read if you take a reading like that you're 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 pretty much you're pretty much off the rocks man you know so uh if you leave readings where it's supposed to be as a heads up and don't jump to conclusions and start acting off of it if you are able to leave it there as a heads up you'll be fine See, the thing about readers, you got to understand, you got to understand a person that's intuitive, that has a connection to their spirit, or somebody that's using their memory. There's a lot of readers out here. There's some that are intuiting from the spirit. And there's a lot that are just reading up on what these cards mean and basically regurgitating what they read about what the book said. Mm hmm The true reader, a true reader doesn't have to look at tarot cards. A true reader can read tarot cards with their eyes closed. Shit with a blindfold on. Mm -hmm. When I see, when I have certain people that are trained by me, my test is to have them read blindfolded. I want you to read without looking at the cards. That's it. When you read for me, I want to test your skills. I want, to, I want you to read the cards without even looking at them. Blindfolded. If you can't read tarot cards blindfolded, you're not that. Mm -mm. Yeah, you know, if your teacher made you throw books away, I would say that's a good thing, and that could also be a bad thing, too. Oh man, listen, somebody just asked a very beautiful question. Someone asked, how do people hate on you? You know, listen, let me tell you something. If I was, listen, if I was pe certain people, I would hate myself too. Like, I'm not mad at people that hate on me because I would be mad too. How is it that this guy is able to have a diamond ring on? This guy is able to have a date just two on. And this guy, you can look at the background of where I live. How is this guy able to live in this luxurious environment? How? How? This guy doesn't, he doesn't, uh, you know, he doesn't act like he's possessed on camera. He doesn't, you know, shake any assons and stuff like that. He doesn't wear all white. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't even follow any days of the, like, he doesn't follow planetary cycles. He doesn't look into astrology like that. He doesn't serve the spirits on, on a day that they're supposed to be served. But yet, he's so successful. You know what I'm saying? I would hate, listen, I would hate Boko Leona Elmira if 
I was the vaudouisant that got up online and I was promoting this traditional vaudou. You know, I would hate, I would hate Lil Nas too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't, listen, for people to hate me, they have every right in the world to hate on me. You know what I'm saying? Shit. You know what I'm saying? I give you a thumbs up. Shit. I'll even thumb, I, sometimes I even thumb my videos down, but people still like my shit. I jump right along with my haters and be like, fuck that nigga Leonard. Thumb down his video, man. Thumb down his video. <laughs> you know, listen, man, I, I, I feel my haters, man. I feel my haters, man. You know what? I'll thumb down my video too. But I'm not asking y'all to thumb down my video. Hell no. <laughs> Keep those fingers up. <laughs> I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Oh, that's what it is, man. I, nah, bro, Lupin, that's a little, that's a little rugged. Fuck you, pay me. I don't really have that attitude. That's a very nasty attitude. You know, you don't get far with this fuck you, pay me type of attitude, man. Oh, Tina Chen? <laughs> nah, but you don't get very far with this fuck you, you know, fuck you, pay me attitude. A fuck you, pay me attitude is the attitude that most of these spiritualists have. And this is why a lot of these spiritualists are broke, that are doing work, you know? Ah, uh, you know, I don't know, nah, man. Congratulations to them, man. You know, I'm not going to say any derogatory things to my haters and stuff like that, man. You know, if anything, you know, I, you know, I, I say, may they have, you know, may they have a very blessed life, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, <laughs> I wish them the best, you know, and that's it, man. I don't got to say nothing to my haters like that, disrespecting them. See, again, disrespecting a hater is just, it's, it's not clean. It's not proper, man. Mm-hmm. There's no need for you to be disrespectful and hostile. You're, you're, see, your address to a hater should be a lifestyle. You're saying your, your, your address to your hater should be your elegance. You know what I'm saying? Your elegance. You know what I mean? That's that's your that's your response to your haters. You know what I'm saying? So when people say, what do you have to say? No, nah, I don't got nothing to say to them. You know what I'm saying? I don't got nothing to say to my haters. My haters can uh, watch my growth. And that's it. I've been here for seven years. You see me from my lowest point and to... You know, one of my one of my points. I'm not going to say this is my highest because I'm striving to go even higher. But of course, you know, just to, just to elaborate on that about the haters and stuff like that, man. You know, what I'm saying, hey man, hey man, hey shit. I would hate Lil Not Eddie Mega too again. <laughs> mm -hmm. See, in life, you're gonna have a lot of people that hate you, right? When you when you're doing good, you're successful. And when you're boastful about it, you're going to have a lot of people that hate you. You know, um, even when you try to do right, there's still going to be people that hate you. But you can't feed into the negativity. You can't give that thing. You can't give negativity a lot of power because when you feed negativity, you're not going to you're not going to progress in life. You're going to stay where you're at. You know, sometimes the best response for a hater is to allow them to see your growth. Like the whole fuck you pay me thing, like that, you know, somebody just made that comment, that, that mentality. I said it's a bad mentality. Because when you're dealing with people, you have to interact with people. You have to show that you care when you're talking to people. You know, that, that mentality, fuck you pay me, that's a mentality that a lot of spiritualists have online. Oh, you, you, you whatever, I don't want to hear nothing. Like sometimes I try to divorce myself from a case. I may say, well, listen, I can refund your money back whatsoever. And then, and, I try to let these clients go and they'd be like, no, 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 no. I don't want, I don't want the money back. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I want to stay here. Like if, if, if clients come in very impatient with me, I'm like, okay, I, I'll refund your money back, whatsoever. If it's not, you know, it, you know, going according to your times, your scheduling, whatsoever, we can end the case, whatsoever. You know, I can refund you depending on how, how far we are down the line. I can give you half or if it's way in the beginning, I'll give you a full amount of your money, you know, and, and, and just go about it, you know, and this is how you conduct business. And this is why I'm so successful, because at the end of the day, I'm not desperate for clients. You know, if anything, I'm I'm, I'm over here and I'm having people hit me up. I don't have, you know, uh, mass emails going out to different clients and stuff like that about my service. I don't have mass, mass emails going out. I don't hit nobody up telling them to come. We got to do work. Even my clients, my, I have clients that may be in the, in the, in the, in the, in the section here, in the, in the feed. They'll tell you, I have never hit them up to do work. 
I have never hit a client up to say, oh, we need to do work. Never. That's not my style. That's that's un, that's that, that shows that you lack class. I could just sit here and all these messages coming. I want to work with you. I want to work with you. I want to work with you. Listen, I've had client, I've had clients that was with other spiritualists. And their spirit, they'll say to their spiritualist, I want to, you know, do you got what do we got the work that Lil not Lil not has, with the Boko has, whatsoever? Like, man, shit crazy. You know, it's like, it's like their spirituals would get mad at them for even wanting to have any type of work that's similar to mine's. It's like Gucci Man said, Gucci said in his song, Hey to see my video, they switching the channel. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to repeat that. It's like Gucci Mane said in one song, cutting off fingers. Haters see my videos and they switching my cha switching the channel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So listen, when you deal with clientele, you got to treat your, cl your clientele with respect. Sometimes I can be very tough when they do certain things and I, you know, chastise them with words. But it's all with good intentions. See, when you respect your client and you talk to them as a human being, they listen to you, you know? And when you show that you care, you listen to their problems. Sometimes you got to be on the phone and listen to people crying and stuff like that. And you listen to them. That's, that, go, that, goes, that goes a very far away. You know what I'm saying? Some people need someone to talk to. Some people may be at their brink of suicide. And for someone to sit there and listen to them as a counselor, as a, as a therapist, that's, that's, that's something that's very hard for a lot of people to do. For me, it comes with ease because I come around that. I came up, came up with that. Can you do spiritual work if you're pregnant? It's risky business. I would say, I would say, it's risky business, and I would not recommend it. It all depends on what you're doing. But you know, if you know, you better dot all your eyes and cross all your t's if you're pregnant. Because if you do something wrong, I don't care what type of if you're in the ATR, you're dealing with African spirits and so listen. The slightest mistake can cost you a life. You know what I'm saying? So I'll leave it as that. Hmm. See, the thing is, let me tell you something. It doesn't get you far. See, in the beginning, here it goes. He said this nice attitude doesn't get you far. Listen, there's a time when you got to stand up for yourself. And when you stand up for yourself, after a while, people are going to know who you are. This is a Dominican, this is a Dominican cigar. This is um, what is this? What is this? La Flor Dominicana, it's a Dominican cigar. La Flor Dominicana, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm. I will tell you what they... Mm. Whomever you are, Kim, whomever you are, Kim Hearts, you can personally directly message me. If that's the case, if, if that's what you're talking about, you can definitely you can definitely message me and I'm here. Mm -mm. Let me tell you something. There's going to be some people. There's going to be some people. 
that are fake. I'm waiting for you to message me right now. I'm waiting for you to message me right now. Kim Hearts, I'm waiting for you to message me right now. If that's the case, see, think about what you do. Have you ever used Nike's, what's your, Nike's, uh, no. Inkisi, have you ever used Inkisi? I haven't really put too much time into that. That's Paolo Mayombe. Kim Hart, you can message me right now. You can message me right now. I don't got time for these because I don't even know who this person is. Listen, I'm waiting for your message right now. You can message me right now. You have a means to contact me if you're a real client or you just basically a freaking spat, what, what do you call it? A hater whatsoever coming in here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you can definitely message me whatsoever because you're really talking some off the wall ass shit that, you know what I'm saying, that I don't see no receipts for. Because if, you, if, if you're really talking like that, you definitely message me, man. Oh, well, it all depends on what, what stones you're talking about. Of course, silver can be mixed with stones. But I just can't tell you which one. One thing that's necessary when doing spiritual work, and I've dropped a video recently. I dropped the video recently and I said that you got to have access. And this is a new policy that I'm implementing. I'm implementing a new policy and I've been implementing this recently is that if you don't have access to your target, I can't do work for you. See, my whole thing is if there's no means for you to see what's transpiring, why should we even do work? Thank you, Tina. Why should we even do work? Because the thing is, if you don't have access, you're going to be wondering what's going on. So in your ignorance, you're going to say nothing's working, just like the Jack and the Beanstalk situation. You're going to be saying, oh, nothing's happening the, the, until, you know, until God knows how long that certain shit kicks off and you're like, oh, shit. I don't do work for people today that don't have access to know what's going on with the target. I don't care what a reading says. A reading is cool to me, but I don't care. I want physical evidence. And if you don't have a means to see what's going on, we can't work together because I already know what's going to happen. You don't, you know, you don't have the dedication. The average person doesn't have that de doesn't have the dedication or time. They don't have the patience for this. So when a person comes to me like this, I don't know. No, it's not for you. Find somebody else. That's one of the worst things you can do. Do work for someone that doesn't have access to their target. Because a lot of these people like to waver. They don't have discipline. So after a couple of days or maybe a couple of weeks, they're like, oh, I haven't heard from my target. I don't think it's working. I'm just saying. I've seen customers, customers come to me from other spirituals. They got work done from other spirituals. A week go by, a month go by. Now they're saying, I don't think it's working. I understand people don't want to be waiting in vain because you could be waiting there in vain and basically time going on. And if anything, you're just making the situation worse. I understand that. But when you have someone that has access to their target, I had one guy, he hit me up. The target that he was working on worked for him. It was revenge work. This guy was around that customer every day. Excuse me, not a customer, that target every day. So this individual wrote me a lengthy, a lengthy review because he was a manager and that person was the employee. He was able to see everything that was going on. Now, a person that doesn't have access to know what's going on with their target. Okay, Tina. 
Once I'm back on my other Facebook channel, I'll definitely send you a friend request. Mm -hmm. A pendulum. I don't really do pendulum work like that. Pendulum, they're good, but I don't really focus on pendulum. Pendulum work, that's something that I don't even really focus on. Hold on, hold on, I'm looking at something. Yeah. Well, you have bon appetit, you know? Mm hmm Who is this case? I gotta get back to this person whatsoever. What time is it now? We got an hour to go. Hour on a live. Hold on, what do we have here? You gotta do what you gotta do. Mm hmm So listen, let me look at these. Are silk cotton trees dangerous? I don't know. I didn't grow up around silk cotton trees when I was in, when I was living in Haiti. And to this day, I know it's a southern thing up here. What do you think about chaos magic? I don't know what chaos magic is. I've only heard certain things about chaos magic, but I never looked into it. Chaos itself should basically, you know, I hope the, t the, the title means what it says. For instance, can a Lua choose a person who is not descended of a lineage of Wako Uga? I, I listen, I, I'd rather not answer that question whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather not answer that question. I'd rather somebody else answer that question whatsoever. But for me, that's that's really outside of my, my job experience. My job experience is to do work for customers, not to initiate. The Shem Haforas, the, the, the 72, have you ever worked with the 72? Uh, no, nah, yeah, the 22 Shimmer Forest or something like that. Forest, um, maybe some, maybe some, but as far as saying detailed, not really whatsoever. How important is four elements when doing work? The four elements, I mean, especially when you're working with Lua, you got to know the four elements. You got to have different spirits to balance out different spirits or else you're going to drive yourself crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're dealing with different type of law, you got to have a hot, if you have a hot one, you got to have a mild one. If you have a mild one, you got to have something that's, you know, that can balance all of that, you know, all, all of that to create the equilibrium. Because if you don't have the, if you don't have that equilibrium, one may be too hot for you and it basically throws your whole mind off, throws your whole spirit off. Yeah, that's, that's, that's part of the, 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 the work with the elements, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. When you, when you got certain spirits that walk with you, your elements got to be balanced. Is it a good sign when your target tells you they've been sleeping more late, more lately? I mean, I don't if 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 it's if they've been sleeping more lately, it all depends on what type of spirit you're using. Because if you're using a zone B, that is definitely something that follows. If it's just something you've done regular love work and they say that I can't, you know, I can't really link that to anything. But if you're working with a, a zone B, it usually or in tranquil, that usually does it makes person restless, it makes them tired, it makes them very sleepy. Yeah. Are there green robbers? Are there spirits in tree in Haiti? Uh, hello, I, I don't know where you've been living. You know where you've been living or what you've been watching because I've always said that in my past videos. Or maybe you're just asking questions just to be seen. I don't know.
Mm-hmm. So listen, because we have a cool down time period now and I got to reach out to a customer, I'm going to talk to you guys in a bit. I got a phone call to make. 